haven't quite left the road yet. I left just before first light um, and it's really pleasant walking as the sun's coming up over the hills to the east. Just come across these uh, Timor ponies as the man from Snowy River called them. Fold and four ponies in there. Walk's been good so far. Got harassed by a few dogs leaving town and I didn't have anything to beat them with so I just had to run away. But we're into it. So many of the locals uh, pilgrimage here to the mountain. Bon dia, senor. There's actually a few tents and a few locals scattered about that have probably climbed it. The locals believe that around uh, Ramalau, the highest mountain on Timor, is where your spirit goes when you die. Doesn't matter where you are on Timor. When you pass away, your spirit comes to Mount Ramalau, the highest point, and it waits for either uh, the angels from heaven to come down and take you up to heaven, or Satan to come and grab you if you've been sinful, take you down to the fires of eternity. I'd rather be going up personally. Now that I've left the town below and come up to what's clearly the actual start point of the hike, behind me there's, I'd say, half a dozen tents where it looks like um, the locals make their pilgrimage. They come here, set their tents up, stay here the night. And then it's, uh, you can see the summit. I'm pretty sure it's the top from this location. It's... Um, it's really not that far, so it makes the three and a half hours seem a lot more achievable from from here. So I've passed a few groups of locals on the way up already. Well, they're on their way down. I don't think I'd be passing too many locals on the way up. They all, uh, all seem really young. I think probably the oldest I've seen is about 20. I find it hard to uh, estimate their ages though. They look young. Maybe that's because they're not 50 like me. Views are starting to get good. Well, better. The views are starting to get better. I did pass a couple of young boys and then they've passed me and I've passed them again <laughs> one of them was actually having a sleep on the side of the track <laughs> with his mate standing there looking really annoyed waiting for him 
it's quite amusing. All right, still going up. I don't even know what altitude I'm at now. I'll have a look. Um, maybe 2,600 according to the map. Yeah, 2,588 according to the GPS. Another 400 to go. It's pretty steep. It's very steep, but the trail is actually really pleasant. Lots of birds this morning. about 300 meters from the church now so that's good up over the 2700 South Coast yesterday, we rode along that river that you can see quite easily from here. people up here than I expected. All local Timor Leste people, Timorese. I actually uh, don't think that <laughs> they're very used to seeing white people up here. Westerners, Australians, Europeans. It's a great little climb bit of cloud comes and goes the attitude's not really annoying but I have already started to notice that you lose your breath a little bit quicker so I won't feel myself too much Hey, what 
There's a group of people, along with uh, the guys that were cutting the timber this morning, there's another group of people building a traditional hut to be um, used here at the church. And I asked them if I could film and they were more than happy, so I got some great footage. Uh, only for them to then bring me some coffee and some lunch as a gift. It was really good, big bowl of corn. They then told me when do I have to leave and I said oh, I'm, I'm not really sure, maybe tomorrow uh, I have to leave Balakao and they said they would like me to stay so it looks like I'm staying the night <laughs> and get the sunrise in the morning and leave at the last leave tomorrow morning, probably about 8 or 9 o'clock I suppose. It's really good, it's amazing to watch them work, grassing the roof of the uh, traditional hut, very meticulous with every, uh, with every little piece of the build, putting the grass bundles together, tying it all off, making it tight so it's waterproof. It's pretty good.
Well, Mount Ramalau certainly does put on a good sunrise. Amazing morning. I slept uh, just near a group of people last night that I spent the afternoon with yesterday. Gave me coffee and lunch and breakfast and it was a cold night I think sleeping at about 2,800 metres above sea level I was going to head up at 4.30 this morning but I got up and left at 3.30 can only carry so much gear and clothes in your day pack when you're riding around a motorbike for two weeks but I uh, got up to the summit for the sunrise and while uh, I didn't see, well I haven't seen any other Westerners or Australians, white people like myself, I've actually only seen Timorese people in the last few days. Um, but yesterday I saw quite a few, I don't know the number, maybe 50. Uh, today that easily doubled might be because it's a Sunday and the statue at the top Mother Mary it's quite religious for them mountains quite a sacred place it was awesome I do though need to get down now a couple of hours back to uh, Otobaliko and get my motorbike and uh, make my way back to Dilly. Ready, one, two, three. Good night, Tom. Good night. Oh, I think I'm in it. Oh, yeah. I like water, but I would have to wait for a moment. Wait for a moment. Did it take it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Angry dog. Mount Ramalau was spectacular. But as good as the summit and sunrise was, it wasn't the best thing from the trip. The thing that I got the most out of hiking up Mount Ramalau were the people. Trace and his crew building the traditional house at the open air church were just awesome. The feeling that comes to mind is humbled. When you're sitting and watching someone work, conduct manual labour on a task that you don't even know how to do yourself and then they go out of their way to take care of you, giving you food and security, it's just amazing. I can't thank them enough. Now, back in Hotobaliko, it was time to jump back on the bike and head back to Dili. There was still a lot more of this trip left to go and I was wanting to get the most out of it.